Hey guys, it's Andrea from the blog Pine and Prospect Home and I recorded this entire YouTube video and then watched it back and I realized the sun was shining right on my face through a little pocket in the tree above me. So I just wanted to record a little segment here and apologize for that. I hope it's not too distracting for you guys. I wasn't feeling it on my face. Um, I don't know how that happened, but anyways, I'm so glad you're here today. I'm also sharing this summer tour along with some friends of mine here on YouTube, so be sure to check the playlist below in the description so you can go and check out all the beautiful summer, summer tours. Um, I can't wait to go watch them myself. So I hope you enjoy this video and I apologize for <laughs> the blaring sunshine on my face. Hopefully, hopefully you can look past that, but enjoy. Hey guys, it's Andrea from the blog Pine and Prospect Home, and today I wanna to give you a little evening tour of our DIY pea gravel patio. I have had a lot of questions about our pea gravel patio ever since I began sharing this space here on my YouTube channel, and really ever since I've shared it on my blog. I've had a lot of questions about pea gravel and how I like it, and um, what are the pros and the cons, and so I thought I would start off by just talking a little bit about pea gravel, um, sort of why I love it so much, and also I wanted to just share a few tips if you plan to install a pea gravel patio yourself, what we've learned over the past few years from installing ours. So one of the reasons why I love pea gravel so much is because it is just so true to that English cottage style. A couple of years ago, my husband and I had the opportunity to visit a place called Greenfield Village here in Michigan, and they have a Cotswold cottage there that was brought stone by stone from England. And one of the things that I loved so much about that stone cottage was the patio area where we sat and had tea. Um, it was actually a really hot day that day, so we had iced tea. But I remember the patio was all pea gravel and it was surrounded by stone and I just fell in love with it. And I told my husband how badly I wanted to recreate a patio just like that in our home. I just love the sound of pea gravel under your feet. Um, it's not really uh, painful to walk on. The stones are soft and um, you can go out there barefoot if you'd like. But I just, I love the look of it. I love the sound of it. I love the feel of it. So that is one of the main reasons we went with pea gravel. Another reason why I really love pea gravel is because it's low maintenance. So um, and what I mean by that is if you are looking to put a patio space um, onto the back of your house and you're considering a deck, for example, or stone pavers, those are both gorgeous options. But I know like with our wooden porch, it has been a lot of maintenance over the years. You know, the stain and the finish, it peels up. You have to refinish it, strip it, scrape it. Um, and then with stone, I know how stone pavers, depending on where you live, they can really sink down into the ground and shift with the weather. And so um, those can be a little bit more high maintenance as well. With pea gravel, you really don't have as much upkeep, I would, I would say. Now, I have little children, and so a lot of times we'll catch them picking up the pea gravel and chucking it into the grass. <laughs> but um, So you might have to fill some low spots every now and then if you have kids, you know, anything like my kids. But other than that, the upkeep is very, very minimal. The third reason why I love pea gravel so much is because it's really budget friendly. Um, when you consider how expensive it is to build a deck, especially if you have to hire someone, um, and even if you were to purchase stone pavers, for example, it can be pretty expensive. Um, for our entire patio space, we sort of broke it up into two sections. We used about five yards of pea gravel and it was about um, a little over $100 to do our entire patio space, which really is amazing for the size patio we have. It's not huge by any means, but it's a great size for our family. And um, we didn't want to cut down too much on the grass area just because we have little boys that like to run around and play. But um, so the fact that it's really affordable makes it a great option, especially if you love that cottage style like I do. So just a few tips if you are considering um, installing a pea gravel patio. 
First of all, I would say to be sure to lay down landscape fabric, of course, wherever you plan on putting your pea gravel. I want to recommend that you purchase the high quality weed barrier. Um, we definitely bought ours at the dollar store when we installed ours. We tried to be cheap, spent a couple bucks on a few rolls, and within a couple of months we had weeds popping up everywhere and I just so regret that decision. We had to shift all of the gravel over, lay down a nicer fabric that would actually block the weeds and it was just a ton of work. Had we just spent a little bit more money to begin with that never would have been an issue. So invest in some really nice weed barrier so that you don't have to go through what we did. Another thing that I want to mention is to be sure that your your border, whatever you end up using for your border, also sits on top of that fabric. That's something that we did and I'm very thankful for because we don't have a lot of issues with weeds popping up within the border. Now one thing that I would like to say is that when we first installed our patio, we used pavers that someone gave to us. We were just trying to save money. And within about three years, those pavers have really sunk and shifted. Um, and some of the pea gravel was, was sort of like spilling off over the edges and into our yard. So like I already told you in my last video, we recently decided to get some field stone from a local farmer. It was all free. He let us take as much as we wanted to. And we created a border instead with this beautiful field stone. And so it's a little bit higher off the ground and it really helps to prevent that pea gravel from spilling over into the yard. And I just love the look of it. I think it's beautiful. It's much more natural looking. And as those stones sink over the years, we can always just build them up higher, go get more stone. It was a lot of fun for my boys going out to the farm and picking up stone. So um, we really love this border and I would recommend going with something a little bit taller like that so that you don't have the same issues we did. Now, moving on to our patio tour. It's sort of a small space, so I don't feel like I have a whole lot to say. But um, if you're new here, I'll sort of walk you through it. And I shared a lot of these projects in a video that I'll, I'll put a card here for you. But it's called Five Outdoor DIYs that are really thrifty. And um, some of our projects are in that video if you want to check it out. But um, basically, our patio sits right underneath this box elder tree. And it seems like the sun keeps shifting, so I keep getting sunlight on my face. I'm sorry about that, but hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much. I keep shifting positions here. I think that's better maybe. Um, but anyways, so we created the patio right under this tree, which is perfect because it provides a lot of shade for most of the day, which is really nice. Um, the table was a DIY project and uh, my brother-in-law helped me build it one year to surprise my husband for Father's Day. The whole bottom of it is made out of pressure treated wood and for some reason on the top I was trying to save money and we ended up using regular wood which just another example of us trying to save in the short run and not looking into the long term picture. <laughs> We do that a lot. Um, so we're trying to be better about investing more at the beginning so it lasts longer. But we're probably gonna have to refinish the top of this table because it's looking a little rough these days, kind of weathered. Um, but anyways, so the table was DIY. The chairs around the table were Walmart finds, actually. I found them last year. I love that they are sleek and um, they just have a really pretty classic design. They're metal which I love, so um, they really stand up well to the weather. One of the things that I've tried to do around my patio is create little pockets uh, with different plants that are really low maintenance. So I've chosen things like catmint, which you see behind me, this really beautiful sort of purple periwinkle flower, and then hosta, of course, you cannot kill them. They are so easy to maintain. And then of course we have some potted plants, we have some tomato growing, this year which we're trying. Then we have a couple of zucchini plants that we're going to try in containers this year. Um, I read a blog post about how to grow zucchini in containers so I'll let you know how that goes um, but it's been a lot of fun you know the kids keep checking up on the tomatoes every day and um, 
looking at their progress and I just, I love growing vegetables with little children. It makes it so much more exciting. We have some fresh mint, some different mint varieties growing as well. And I love to use containers that are very um, rustic and you know, things like galvanized metal and uh, baskets, things like that, that of course will stand up to the weather. Most of the containers on my patio are thrift finds. Uh, so I haven't spent really a lot of money on any of the containers out here. Um, but I just love the way it all came together this summer. Of course, we have a grill on one end of the patio with a little bend that we made, and that was in my previous video. We also decided to hang some string lights right above the table, which are really beautiful, especially in the evening. Um, it's just magical out here, sitting around the table with the lights above us. I just love this space so much. Another thing that we added recently right off the patio space is a hammock, which we got at our local hardware store. I had a couple of people asking about it. And uh, we just got it right here, um, right here in town. And I love that area. It's just so, so cozy in the evenings, crawling into the hammock and swinging. Um, the kids just love, <laughs> love climbing in there with me. And um, we just, we really love this whole space. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour of our DIY pea gravel patio. And if you have any questions about pea gravel that I didn't answer, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you are new to my channel, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and be sure you watch all the other amazing tours um, that will be listed in the playlist below as well. So you can go and see their beautiful summer homes. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye-bye.